Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. It's been a little while, but I think I want to go back and, and look at that Lauren Boebert situation where she was uh, uh, watching uh, Beetlejuice in a theater, and she and her whoever she was with were fondling each other, vaping when she swears that she wasn't, uh, maybe under some sort of influence, certainly not using bad good judgment. Remember, she's a 36-year-old uh, grandmother. And uh, and this and divorcing her husband, I don't believe they're divorced yet. So not only was she doing all those bad things, she was, uh, you know, adulterous behavior on top of it. So that's what we're going to talk about. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, subscribe. Please do. And thank you very much for watching. So we're going to talk about uh, Lauren Lauren Boebert. It's been a while since that was so prominent. Um, sometimes I make these videos uh, a week or more ahead of when you see them. So I'm filming them when I can and uh, sometimes at the last minute, but usually it's um, well ahead of uh, when we're talking about. And these are kind of cool cards. If, uh, they've got lots of interesting uh, things uh, about these cards, which I'll talk about at the end of the video, by the way. And uh, this double box is one of them, as a matter of fact. So, um, so here we go. The one thing about these cards is they don't spread very well so I have to remember that to try to spread them out with care when I get to that point but um, Lauren Boebert you know what how uh, you, I, you remember that those rep, those people are elected to office uh, and so there's some majority that likes what she is and what's spooky to me is that there are that many people if she's what her people want okay they elected her they like her what she represents and what she espouses is i guess you have to say what they like and what they would espouse or what they'll accept uh but really she's so extreme you have to think it's what they like so it was spooky to me is that there's that many people that uh she for them is the valid great choice you know she's the, you know they're happy that she's in office and she's what they wanted so having said all of that, I'm going to try to spread these cards and see they won't do it very easily. So we'll do it again slowly. Okay. And um, we'll take just a moment for meditation. Okay, I think that's enough. So, Lauren Boebert. Um, is she going to retain her place? Or is her uh, challenger uh, going to, or is any challenger, as a matter of fact, going to take uh, this uh, seat that she has away from her? That's, um, I guess that's the main thing. Is she going to maintain her place uh, as a lawmaker, Lauren Boebert? Uh, she's, it's led to her divorce. Um, she's disgraced herself in public, but I guess that's okay. Um, I can't do this that way, can I? So, um, let's see. <sighs> Is someone going to overtake her? Three cards. As far as her job is concerned of being a lawmaker. First card. Okay, this is five, six, and eight of wands. So this is uh, lots of stuff uh, happening, uh, coming at you right away. And some of this is even charged. Oh, some of this is charged. I'm with the legal charge. Huh, interesting. Next uh, card up. Oof. So this is the death. Is this the death card? Oh, let me count it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, this is a nightmare. And look at this animal. This, this icky talon or thorn or stinger and the the gross little feet that a, a caterpillar might have and the worms coming out of it the the eyeballs all freakishly displayed or oh so so this is a nightmare for her eight a lot of issues happening something is charged it's a nightmare 
And the last thing here is strength. Strength. I'm sorry, this makes me think that she's going to have the strength to withstand all of that. So, I think, um, yeah, she's going to have to go up against something. But she's going to have the strength to do it. One more card. And uh, the Daughter of Wands. So this is a bit like the Princess of Wands. Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. So Princess of... Okay, so she's clever. She's got some sort of an action to, um, to escape this. So if there are charges, even though it's a nightmare, she has strength and she has, as a princess who's, who has some amount of uh, influence of Juan's actions, she has some sort of a sneaky, snaky way of uh, curling back on this and making it better for herself. That's interesting. So Lauren uh, Bobert, let's just ask very plainly if she's going to get uh, reelected. Is Lauren Bobert? going to be re-elected. Lauren Bobert, will she be re-elected? These cards, okay, getting better. I'm going to do four. Let's do six. Let's make it a diet cross. Will Lauren Bobert get re-elected? Okay, let's see what we've got here in these six cards. All right. All right, uh, the Fool, so a new journey. Even though it's a Fool card, it's a new journey. I think she's going to get reelected. That's the signifier. The challenge to it, though, is a five, six, seven, eight of Wands. So uh, Eight of Swords, I'm sorry. So Eight of Swords is feeling trapped by this situation. But we know that this chrysalis can explode, and this butterfly, you already see the wings beginning to dry out and become active. So it will be a new journey. She will feel trapped, but she's not really. The basis of this is the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups is something you don't really want of emotional value. Who wants some sort of emotion covered by a rat? Okay. Uh, the past of this is the Daughter of Swords. So this, again, is like the prince, Princess of Swords and uh, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. But that's in the past. So this uh, Princess of Swords is in her past. So Lawmaker in the past because swords are law and she was a lawmaker princess of swords in the past the sky of this is the uh one two three four five six and there's number seven of swords which is a, a um, theft and betrayal and look at this the sneaky fox just peeping out theft and betrayal how's she going to steal something and then the final outcome for this is this nine of wands which is lots of uh, actions. Wow. She gets uh, reelected because this is a new journey. I mean, you could think it's her new journey in whatever she's going to do after Lawmaker, but, um, and, but it's challenged by uh, feeling trapped by truth, justice, rules, and law. So, She's going to get reelected, but all the legal issues are still going to, you know, threaten her. She can get away with it, though, if, she's, if she understands how. There's going to be some compassionate uh, base to this whole thing that you don't want. Okay. Interesting. What could that be? A compassionate base to, to her, to the situation that she doesn't want. But in the past is her as a lawmaker. So her, her next term, if she gets it, is all going to be about the issues that, that entangle her and anything she did towards lawmaking that's in the past. In the sky of this, uh, with this uh, Seven of Swords, is some sort of a theft of law. So she stole this election somehow. And then on the final outcome of this, with this Eight or this Nine of uh, Wands, again, is just, and let me get a backup definition here for this Nine of Wands because um, nine of wands, mistrust. Yeah, this is gonna be, um, it's all gonna be not good. The second, if she does get that second term around, it's just gonna be more riddled with a mess, but up personally towards her than the first term was. So that's what I got. Hey, I'm gonna show you the cards now, hang on. 
So this is the Wild Unknown Tarot by Kim Kranz. And these cards are really nice cards. She's put some very thoughtful messages in this uh, really a nice uh, guide box or guidebook uh, or <laughs> packaging that she's included. The guidebook is a really cool quality. The cards are co completely fully depicted here, not in color, but um, you know, there's not much color in the cards anyway. And there's some very thoughtful ideas as to the divination of the cards. So uh, Kim Kranz did a beautiful job with this. Then it's got a, a box within a box. I, I like to call the inner sanctum. Another nice message inside this box and the cards. Well, there's a little something lacking in the cards. And I'll tell you what it is, is that the uh, quality of them isn't, doesn't make them the easiest cards to use. Um, the cards are thin. Um, they don't uh, spread out very well, but the meaning in the cards is unbelievable. And you'll see uh, right here as I put them out for you. All this detail that you see, this is hand drawn. Every single, all of these lines, all of this repetitiveness that you see in here is, um, is Kim Cran's work. Uh, her and so it really makes you feel like some a lot of thought a lot of intention went into each and every drawing that you have here and so and like I always say I spread these cards out in the beginning here so that you can kind of get a look at a full deck of cards if you don't collect cards or if you don't see lots of variety of cards all the time and I'm kind of a crazy person that buys a lot of cards um, sadly um, but um, they make for a very nice um, experience when you're doing divination with these cards. Kim Kranz, The Wild and Untarot. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again, so ciao for now.